in Afghanistan itself, preparing for the reality of a war zone isn't just about humans. It's also vital to the training of the military working dogs that are deployed to theatre. To help them, a new training area has been set up at Camp Bastion, complete with an Afghan-style compound to give a realistic feel for what they'll experience outside. Carla Prater has been to meet the two and four-legged members of 102 Squadron from Senilaga, who are getting ready for Herrick 15. Out in theatre, the military working dogs are an asset every patrol wants to have. And here at Camp Bastion, they've got a brand new area to practice in. With search lanes, walls and their very own Afghan compound, this is the ultimate RSOI centre for dogs. We don't believe there's a better training compound anywhere else in the world. Um, everyone that comes and visits cannot believe how effective this has been. And already since we've arrived, the dogs are getting a lot better um, just because of this training compound. With their acute sense of smell, the new site is designed to keep them challenged. Sometimes a dog performs brilliantly in Bastion, but not so well when it's out of its comfort zone on the ground. But it's hoped this will better prepare the dogs for what's to come. Because it's uh, more realistic, we can conduct realism in our training. So we've got that, we haven't got that divide between the playground, which was Bastion Zero, um, and uh, what we've got here now, so it's hard for the dogs. The thing about this training area is that it really tests the dogs and it's very realistic to what they find when they go out on the ground. Now every dog that arrives in theatre will spend at least two weeks here, so they'll have plenty of time to practice. Among those practicing are the high assurance search dogs and the newer IED detection dogs, which joined the unit earlier this year with that specific purpose in mind. The handlers here are part of 102 Squadron from Senelaga. Handlers like Private Heather Randalls and her dog Yuli. I just want to go out there to be honest because I know if there is something out there, I know that my dog can find it. She's just proven it time and time again every, every time I train with her. Even throughout the tour, the handlers and dogs will come back here to train or to be recalibrated, as it's known, regardless of their experience. But right now, many are just focused on their first patrol. It's all new for me, but it's exciting stuff, so I'm looking forward to it. A great facility. I mean, you've got all the lanes, you've got the compounds, and obviously when they're too hot, you've got the swimming pools for the dogs, so they love it, really. And that's exactly where they end up after a hard day's work. To the envy of everyone out in theatre, they even have their very own pool. A dog's life, indeed. Carla Prater, Forces News, Camp Bastion.